It is President's Day weekend, a time where history buffs and ordinary Americans alike honor and celebrate some of our country's greatest leaders. Here joining us is our presidential correspondent, Jimmy Alexander. We give him a lot of titles here, but he is, a fun fact for you about Jimmy, you are a true presidential history buff. Oh, I've been to like probably over 170 places around the country, in fact, the world, visiting presidential sites. Yeah. It's something that became an obsession when I was a little boy. And uh, you can see this from my oh, home on, um, on loan here this to DC News Now. This is from the bust collection at Jimmy Alexander's e house. Exactly. And one of the greatest things is when you think about political families, mm -hmm. some of them, let's say like um, the Adams, the Kennedys, and the Bushes, well, another one of those families has a new member serving in elected office, and he's still in high school. <laughs> let's go out to Roosevelt Island with the great, great, great grandson of Theodore Roosevelt. I am Quentin Colon Roosevelt, and I am the ANC Commissioner for uh, Single Member District 3D03, which is Spring Valley, basically, and Kent and the Palisades. What does that position mean? Uh, you, you were elected to it. What do you do? So ANC Commissioner is sort of the lowest level of uh, local government in D.C. It's a volunteer position, unpaid. I represent around 2,000 people. Uh, it's an advisory uh, role, mostly. I also also wanted to recognize Quentin Cologne Roosevelt, who is a single member district uh, ANC commissioner for this area. So it's really trying to be the voice of the residents who are closest to you to the DC government and trying to you know, help them with stuff that might affect their day to day lives. When you told your dad that you wanted to run for this office, what did he say to you? He was really supportive of it. I mean, I think he really understands how important it is for young people to get involved in local government. And he really understands how important it is that you know, people who are really passionate about the issues that our communities face and get involved. And so he was really supportive the entire time. He drove around with me to put up signs because I can't drive. Uh, he was just really great. I, I love my dad. He's a good. <laughs> he's, he's the best. What, did we ever have this issue where your dad has to tell you, okay, enough with your, your uh, elected official stuff. you got to finish your homework. Yes, <laughs> very much. So. I, I procrastinate <laughs> by doing the other thing. <laughs> do you tell your teachers, I'm sorry, I'm helping to make yeah, the world a better place. I'll try. I don't have the time to do no, my history they were, homework. They've, they've all been really supportive. Luckily for me, I go to a, a school that's been very supportive with everything I do. Now, I'd like you to tell us who you were named after. So I was named after uh, Theodore Roosevelt's youngest son, Quentin. He was shot down in World War I at the age of 19 or so, so he never had kids. So every so often in the family, you'll see a Quentin. What does it mean as a Roosevelt to be here in Roosevelt Island with your great, 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 four greats? Three. Three greats. Great, 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 yeah. But to me, you're four greats, but nevertheless. <laughs> um, what does that mean to be here? I, I mean, it's it's a big weight on my shoulders, definitely, you know. There's a lot of privilege in this family, and there's a lot of success in this family, and there's a lot of public service in this family, and there's a lot of history of that. There's a big history of that. And, you know, a lot of people in my family go to work for the government and go to try to make the world around them a better place because of the example that, you know, T.R. set and his family set. You know, most of his sons went into the war afterwards. He was really big on, you know, serving the country. He really believed in the American dream. He really believed in you know, the spirit of America and doing whatever he could to preserve it. Now, I would never ask for a favor but i got a bad ticket it's a camera ticket is there any way you can help me out with that? no you should obey the law <laughs> thanks roosevelt all right so you had to have asked him if he's going to run for president one day well i did it's in the family blood well it is and as his great great grandfather um gave a very famous speech called the man in the arena and I believe that he's the high school senior in the arena, and he's seven, away, seven years away from being able to run for Congress, age-wise, and yeah. then uh, five years after that, 30, can run for Senate. And of, five years and after five, that for president. president. And he did say he wants to follow the family's tradition of giving back to the community and trying to help to make the world a better place. So he said one day he'd like to uh, run for Congress. Well, guess what? He's doing that already right now oh absolutely absolutely even though it's 2,000 people I mean the fact that you get to be the voice for those 2,000 people when anything goes wrong in the community and he really cares and yeah. it really cares and it does show what yes. a great job his mom and dad did I mean he is a really really great guy out of all the people that Jimmy Alexander could pick to interview for President's Day weekend you probably chose the most interesting one absolutely